Good morning. Today's lesson is 6.2. Today we're going to generate some equivalent fractions. Our essential question, how can you use multiplication to find equivalent fractions? Let's unlock the problem. Sarah needs three-fourth cup of dish soap to make homemade bubble solution. Her measuring cup is divided into eighths. What fraction of the measuring cup should Sarah fill up with dish soap? Well, it's eighth size part of a measuring cup bigger or is it smaller than a fourth size part? It's smaller. So first I need to find out how many eighths are in three fourths. So if I compare fourths and eighths, um, I have my model and this model says to shade one fourth. So as you can see the same, I've got it, it's the same exact side, only this one's broken up into fourths. One, two, three, four. And I'm shading, I have to shade one fourth. So here I am, I'm gonna shade one of the fourths. Now over here, I'm gonna have the same part and I'm gonna shave one fourth, but I'm using the eight size parts. So it'd be a lot easier if I had them like right next to each other. But as you can see, I'm gonna be shading two of the parts. And then if these were side by side, you'd be able to see that that was the exact same amount, okay? So you need two eight size parts to make one fourth size part. Find how many eights you need to make three fourths. So now I'm gonna shade my model. Remember, these are the same exact size, only this one's broken into eights and this one's broken into fourths. I'm actually gonna do this so you can kind of see. See how it's two fourths for each of these? I'm just kind of doing this so you can see that this is the same. It's just that this one is broken up into eight parts and this one's broken up into four parts. So if I'm shading my model for three fourths, one, two, three fourths. And now I'm gonna shave this shave shade the three fourths into the eights part. So there's one fourth, two, and three. So you need two eights to make one fourth. So you're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six eights to make three fourth parts. So so Sarah should fill out six eighths of the measuring cup with the dish soap. Explain why six eighths parts is the same amount as the three fourths size. Well, there are two eighths size parts in each fourth size part. So if I'm doing three of them and there's two in each, three times two is six. So that's why I know that it's gonna be six eighths, right? Because three, I'm trying to do three fourths, or th um, yeah, three fourths, and I know that for every one fourth, it's two of the eights, okay? So I'm gonna end up getting six eights, two, four, six. Example, write four fractions that are equivalent to one half. Our model, so here's our one half, and that's also one half, but on this one I have two parts, and on this one I have the four parts, right? So write an equivalent fraction. So on this one it's one half, equals one two-fourths, right? Because there's my two. So if I want to relate the equivalent fraction, one half, essentially I doubled it, right? So I multiplied the, the top by two and the bottom by two. One times two is two, and two times two is four. So one half is equivalent to two-fourths. Let's look at this next one. Notice I shaded the same. So this one is my one half, right? One half. This one, it's got the one half shaded, but I broke it into one, two, three, four, five, six parts. So my bottom number is going to be six. And if I look at my shaded, I've got one, two, three, right? So one half is equivalent to three six. So on the bottom, if you notice, I multiplied. If I multiply the bottom by three and the top by three, I'm going to get this three six. One times three is three. Two times three is the six. Okay, let's keep going. So again, I've got one half over here, but now I've broken it into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight parts on the bottom. And of the shaded, I have one, two, three, four. So one half equals four eighths. The way I did this is if you look, what does it take to make two be an eight? Well, two times four is eight. So if I multiply the bottom by four, I'm gonna get the eight because I divided it into eight parts. Two times four is eight. Whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do the top. 
So if I multiply the bottom by 4, I multiply the top by 4 in order to keep it an equivalent fraction. So 1 times 4 is 4. So 1 half is equivalent to 4 eighths. All right, let's keep going. So again, I have my 1 half that I'm comparing it to. This time, I broke it into 1, whoops, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, into 10 parts. So my bottom number is 10. And then, I mean, I can count them here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 tens. So what number did I multiply 2 by to get 5? Well, 2 times 5, or sorry, what number did I get 2, multiply 2 by to get 10? 5, right? 2 times 5 is 10. So if I multiply the bottom by 5, because 2 times 5 is 10, I broke it into 10 parts, so I need this number to be 10. Then whatever I do to the bottom, I do to the top. So now I'm going to multiply the top by 5. 1 times 5 is 5. So 5 tenths and 1 half are equivalent fractions. Number 2, look at the model that shows 1 half and 3 six. Is the whole effect the number of parts that are shaded? Explain. The whole for 3 six is divided into 3 times as many parts as the whole for 1 half. So the model for 3 six is going to have 3 times as many parts as the shaded. Explain how you can use multiplication to write a fraction that is equivalent to 3 fifths. In 3 fifths, the whole is divided into 5 equal parts. So think of the whole as divided into 10 parts. Since 10 is twice as many as 5, you need to find twice as many as 3. So here's my 3 fifths. And if I need twice as many, that means I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by 2. And 3 times 2 is 6. And 5 times 2 is 10. So it is equivalent. It is equivalent to 3 fifths. Are 2 thirds and 6 eighths equivalent? Explain. Well, 2 thirds, if I multiply the top and the bottom by 3, 2 thirds, if I multiply the top, because 2 times 3 is 6, so if I did the top by 3 to get the 6, 3 times 3 is 9, not 8. So 6 eighths is not, whoops, let me fix that so you can see the not equivalent. 6 eighths is not equivalent to 2 thirds. Now, 6 ninths is equivalent to 2 thirds. And again, the way I figured that out is I looked at here and I saw that 2 and 6, I knew that 2 times 3 equaled 6. But if I multiply the top by 3, I also have to multiply the bottom by 3. And unfortunately, that would be 9 and not 8. All right, share and show. Let's complete the table model. So right here, we have, they're broken into thirds. And this one's broken into sixths, right? So thirds and six. So they're saying two sixths or two thirds is, is, it, is it equivalent to four six? One, two, three, four. Now, here's my related fraction. And this is honestly where you're going to go in fifth grade. So we really need to know how to do this. The way I do it to make sure it's equivalent so here's my thirds. I think in my head, what can I do to the bottom number to make it be 6? Well, 2 times 3 is 6. So if I multiply the bottom by 2, 2 times 3 is 6. So I got my 6. Whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do the top. So if I multiply the bottom by 2, I multiply the top by 2. So 2 times 2 is 4. So 4 6 and 2 thirds are equivalent. Okay? I am going to do one more. Okay, so over here. We have three-fifths and six-tenths. So they drew them out for you, okay? I'm not even looking at the model. I'm looking at this bottom number. So I have five and ten on the bottom. So here's my five. What do I need to do to the five to make it be ten? Well, five times two is ten. So if I multiply the bottom by two, then I will get ten on the bottom. Whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do the top if I'm going to keep them equivalent. So three times two is six. So six-tenths is equivalent to three fives. Remember, whatever you do to the top, you have to do to the bottom. I am going to have you, because I know we're short on time today, I'm gonna have you finish this one. I'm gonna have you finish. I'm gonna have you finish this one, but I wanna explain what you're doing here. You get to pick what you want it to be. So they want you to do two equivalent fractions. You get to pick what they are. So if you have four fifths, pick a number that you wanna multiply the top and the bottom by to get an equivalent fraction. I could do two. So if I did two on the top and two on the bottom, I would have four times two, which is eight. 
5 times 2, which is 10. I get to pick another number. Mm, maybe I want it to be 5. So whatever I do the top, I do the bottom. On this one, because they're wanting you to pick your two equivalent fractions, you get to pick which number you multiply. And as long as you do it on the top and the bottom, you're going to have an equivalent fraction. So 4 times 5. So then when I multiply it, I'm going to have 4 times 5, which is 20, and 5 times 5, which is 25. So 4 fifths is equivalent to 8 tenths and 20 20 fifths. You could do any number you wanted. You could have done the top and bottom by three, the top and bottom by four. It's up to you. So I'm going to have you do number three. I'm going to have you do number four, five, and six. And again, it says two equivalent fractions. So that means you get to pick what you're going to multiply the top and the bottom by to make them equivalent. If you need me, I will be on the carpet and good luck.